For the second time this week, Garmin has released a pretty substantial firmware update, this time for the Instinct 2 series. Now back a few months ago when Garmin released the Instinct 2X, which is a larger version of the Instinct 2, it actually had more than just the hardware upgrades of the added flashlight, as well as a multi-band GPS, and of course the bigger screen. It also had with it training readiness and a bunch of other software features that weren't found on the Instinct 2 series. And at the time, Garmin said that that was just tough nuggets. It wasn't coming to the Instinct 2, save for the Instinct 2X. The problem was that the Instinct 2 Solar and the Instinct 2X were the same price which didn't really make a lot of sense then to not have the features on all of it. Well, common sense has prevailed, and as of today, there's now a beta for the Instinct 2 series, both the 2 and the 2S, that adds those features in. Now, in case you do want to put the beta on your Instinct 2 series device, the way it works is it's a sideload, meaning you need to take the device, a cable, and then a computer. That's like a, a bigger version of a phone. Uh, put the computer and the cable and the device together, and then you download it from the link down below there. Uh, this is different than most of the other devices because the Instinct series does not have Wi-Fi, but you basically copy some files to the watch and go ahead and install it. it. Takes like three to five minutes for the install process to happen, and then you're good to go. So the first new feature you're gonna get is the morning report feature. This was actually beta tested like nine months ago last winter on the Instinct 2 devices before Garmin pulled it because of some issues like slowness and stuff like that. Uh, it's back now. The morning report, of course, has been around for about a year now, and it's one of my favorite features out there, and it's great to see it back on the Instinct 2 series. Hopefully this time it'll make it out of beta into production. Now, like with Garmin's other devices, you can modify whether or not you want the morning report to be on or off, including the settings of which things are shown in the morning report. So if you want to see sleep or HRV or all that kind of stuff, you can do that. Uh, right now, my sleep show is pretty horrible, which is why my voice sounds a bit weird. I'm, I'm all stuffed up right now. Now, the next item is actually the really big ticket item here, which is the addition of training readiness. Uh, that's something that that Garmin launched about a year ago now on the 400 255 and 955 and since then it's basically on all their higher end devices and training readiness is basically an umbrella of looking at your training status so it's looking at a bunch of new components things like sleep and HRV status and training load and stress scores uh, and it basically tells you how ready you are to train on any given day. As I said before, the Instinct 2X got this when it launched, and it's awesome to see it here. Uh, it is probably one of the best things that Garmin has launched in the last few years, uh, and generally speaking, it's a pretty good indicator of whether or not you are ready to train. Now keep in mind, if you've had Garmin devices a long time, you also have training status. That's different in this realm. Training status on Garmin devices, especially training status 2.0, which is what's on the Instinct 2 series, is more about whether the type of training you're doing is right, versus training readiness is about a day-to-day -day value that will change throughout the day on whether or not you are ready to train train at that particular moment and how ready you are to train in terms of whether you could take like a hard interval workout or maybe just more of a recovery workout. For the implementation here on the Instinct 2, it's the same functionality that you'd find in Garmin's higher end devices. All the same components are there. Uh, no color, obviously, but uh, all those components can be expanded. You can dive into them. It's all basically works the same. Oh, and note for the training readiness that you do need to add that widget uh, or widget glance, if you will, into your list there. So just go down to the very, very bottom uh, and choose to add a new widget and choose the training readiness one. In my case, because I have plenty of data in my Garmin account already, all that data basically populated immediately for me. Uh, but if this is like a brand new watch to you, uh, then that may take a few days or up to a few weeks even uh, for all that data to kind of flow in and fully populate training readiness. Next, they've added the new Workouts app. This is something I just added to the 955 and other watches in the last two days here, and it's brand new. And it basically consolidates all of your structured workouts, either those that are planned manually or the automated ones from daily suggested workouts into one app, one place that you can look at on the watch, uh, dive into, just like you choose run or swim or bike, you can choose workouts, and then from there you can see those structured workouts and sort them by sport. Likewise, I've added another new sport profile, uh, the, well, I guess it's a sport profile, the gaming activity. Uh, this seems to be something they're adding across a bunch of different watches. Uh, and if you remember back a number of years ago, there was the Garmin Instinct Esports Edition, uh, and so it tied into some desktop software and it was used like in esports, uh, not like the Zwift side of things so much, but more about the like, computer gaming side of things. Um, and we're seeing a resurgence here in the recent betas, adding it to Garmin devices. Not sure what's going on there yet. They're like re regaining that whole thing, but either way that profile is now added on the watch and you can even pair it up to your computer with that software that's there as well. Next, there's a new Tides widget. This is something we've seen on many of Garmin's higher-end devices, but now it is available on the Instinct 2, and it shows you your high tide and low tide. Uh, and what's cool here is you can save locations, so you can see the current Tides location data uh, with your phone. Your phone has to be nearby. It pulls that data from your phone onto the watch, um, or you can save a location if you've been there, or you can enter the exact coordinates for location and get the tide data that way. The only real difference between how it's implemented on the Instinct 2 series versus something like the Epics is that on the Epics, you can use a map to like move yourself over to where you want to look 
the tides and then find it there. So here I am in Amsterdam. On the epics, I can go like 20K, 30K over the beach using the map icon uh, versus on this, I have to either be at the beach to save the location or I have to manually enter those coordinates in. Now, once I've got it saved, I'm, I'm good to go forever, but some minor differences there. Beyond that, there's a couple of like hotfix and stuff like that, but nothing too exciting. Uh, still, it's great to see Garmin responding to the feedback. A lot of people, myself included, were very critical on Garmin's decision not to add training readiness to the Instinct 2 after they launched it on the 2X, given the price is the same. So kudos to them for responding to that feedback and uh, adding it. It's a good deal there. Speaking of kudos, if you did find this video interesting and useful, you know what to do, whack that ding dong like button thing at the bottom there. It really does help not just the video, but the channel and me and, and all the goodness. Have a good one.